Welcome to Double Critical Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And we've got the... Just the... Wrong set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate squad. The, you know, the last set of units and warriors. Yeah. Set 8 of it. It's also set 17. Honestly, before we go into the card list, I'll have to say that watching the trailer for this, I was nowhere near as hyped as I have been in the past. Yeah. Like, there's just, no, I don't know why. There was just, it just the hype wasn't there. Yeah, it's not as exciting. So. Um, but yeah, let, let us, you know, and let us know in the comments below what you guys feel towards the set. Um, and then they also revealed blah, 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 the premium pack. Yeah. King right. Cold promo, which, fingers crossed that it supports the, uh, the field deck. That would be nice. Give the deck a bit of support. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll go into the card list now. So, to start with the red, we've got Son Goku. Uh, it's got auto, when it's placed in the leader, it places one spaceship vessel of hope from deck <coughs> with a marker on it. Because the spaceship is a unison. And it's other auto, as you choose a spaceship in your unison area, place one same card from your hand underneath it. When this card attacks, you draw two. So then you just replace, well, you basically just draw one. And then when your life is at four less, or you have seven cards, and all of you have seven markers on it, not seven cards, uh, draw two, add cards from your life to your hand to your half six, and then flip them over. So then it goes into Goku, Pan, and Trunks. Uh, it's auto, just attack and draw. And it's got two active mains, first being once per turn, pay one red. If you don't have use in play, play one spaceship from your drop or hand with a marker on it. Because the spaceship can't protect itself, that's where you're getting back on the field because you need it. And then this other actor main is also once per turn. Spirit boost 10. If you have 5 or more energy, play it to one red Sun Goku GT with an energy cost of 8 from your hand and it gains 5k power for the turn. So it works with the old stuff. Yeah. Which is why the secret rare has now been a sort of after card. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I was like, people were like, the market watch on it. <clears throat> I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the price has just gone up from. Basically, no value to adequate value. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got Doctor Mew and General Rildo. Uh, so it's auto when this card attacks, play up to one red machine mutant card for energy cost of one from your hand. Um, that's it. All right. And then awaken uh, when your life is a four or less, or you choose three cards from under a Super Sigma card in your battle area and place them under this card. Draw one card, switch up to one energy to add to mode. Add cards from your life until you have six left, and then flip and flip. <sighs> and then he goes into Doctor Mew and Hyper Meta Rildo Rulers of Planet M2. So we got Auto once per turn when you activate Evolve or Union Absorb, draw one card. And then Auto when this card attacks, play up to one red Machine Mutant card with energy cost of one from your hand. I'm guessing that first effect is because the old stuff was Evolve, wasn't it? None of it was Union Absorb. Um, unless I'm horribly wrong on that. No, it was. Absorb and then Rildo was an evolve. Oh, okay. Bigger one. Okay. So they're just covering all the bases. Yeah. That's relevant anyway. Um, I trade battle once per turn, place one card from under this card in so it's drop area and it gains 5k for the battle. Okay, that's pretty good actually, being able to have your own sense of being. Yeah. Um, it's only for the battle, so you have to be really careful when you use it. Um, Defensively, obviously, but if you're using it offensively, it's like, am I going to be able to really push for this turn? Yeah, go on, do it. But it's one of it's the same as the trunks, isn't it? That's going to out of nowhere because be like, ah, and I'm double strike. Yeah. So hey, and it's more viable because it just gives itself five k, and there's going to be ways to put cards underneath it outside of its other awakening skill. Yeah. So. Uh, right. So we've got spaceship vessel of hope. So one cost. With 15k, it's got Empower up Red 10. Uh, it can't attack because it's a spaceship. Um, oh, I can crash into things. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, auto Limit 1. <laughs> if this has four more marks on it, when this card is played, you draw one and choose one of your red battle cards, add up to one of your red leader cards, and you get 5k power for the turn. Which helps the old GT stuff. Yep. Because they're gaining the power. Yeah. Yeah, they all want to be like 30k. Um, and then it's got a. Plus zero, active main, place one same card from your hand under this card, 
Draw one, then add the marker to this card for each card underneath it with a maximum of three. Hmm. Weird. Um, I'm only gonna say baby because I got this baby something parasite. Juvenile. That. Yeah. Um, so it's free cost use in 10k, and it's permanent. If your leader card is red and all your energy is in rest mode, your leader gains 1,000 power. Hmm. Kind of helpful. That's what it's a uh, 5k would be better, but I suppose that'd be too good. Yeah. Um, and the K can it can make a difference because it's one less card out of your hand in a weird way. It yeah. the, the numbers make sense. It, it plus there's yeah. more awkward numbers in the game now. Oh yeah. So oh yeah, there's a lot of awkward numbers. Um, and he's got no opponent. If this card would lose a marker from an opponent's attack, you may place one card from under this card and send his drop area instead. Oh, that's nasty. Hmm. Uh, plus one, activate main, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's power cards, place it on this card, and against 10k for turn. Okay, um, th this is why it's SR. Because hmm. that is a really good free cost unison for red. Just flat out simple that, like. Yeah, if you just want red unison, you could just run this. If, yeah, if you want a spot removal that lets you draw a card. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't ignore barrier, but like most big things, they either have one or the other deflect or barrier. Yeah. It's sometimes they do have both, yes. I will not deny that. But it is usually one or the other. So it's a plus one just to go, uh yeah. Yeah, plus like you put a card on the but then use its Second permanent, and its first one is just barely useful, depending on your situation. Well, red doesn't really untap its energy, does it? Once it's used it for the turn, yeah. so it's like, well, I'll use my energy to use my negates, and then now I've got an extra thousand power for the rest of this turn. Yeah. How many more attacks have you got coming? Red and green don't really have energy recovery. No, it's annoying. <laughs> uh, so going on to battle cards now. We got Super Saiyan Son Goku soaring through space. Oh, good boy. Um, he's not in space right now. No, because I don't like he's on space. He like, looks like he's actually on M2 right now. Yeah. So, four cost, 20k power. It's got Evolve. By paying two reds, you draw a card onto a red Goku GT. And its first auto is when it's played, you choose two of your opponent's power cards and you get minus 20k for the turn. Second auto is you choose a spaceship in your unison area. When this card attacks, place it to one same card from your hand or drop under the chosen card. And then its active main is limit one. Pay one red. If you have three or more energy, play this card from under a unison card. So you can come out cheaper. Yeah. Alright, so we got Son Goku Battle on Planet M2. So there's a free cost, 15, critical, evolve for one red. Uh, draw a card onto a red Son Goku GT. Auto limit one, choose one spaceship vessel in your unison scenario. Place one Saiyan card from under it. And when this card is played, draw one card and add a marker to the chosen card. Okay. Activate main, limit one, pay one red. If you have two more energy, play this card from under your unison. Right, so all of these cards are basically because you're going to have this similar effect at the bottom here, aren't they? If you've got X amount of energy, activate main, do this. Yeah, so that you can get your battle cards back because you're having to put stuff underneath your unison so it would suck if you couldn't play a field. Yeah. Uh, so then we've got Sun Goku Adventures Advent. So one drop 4k. Uh, auto, when it's played, look at five cards from top of deck, out to one red saying, or cost four or less, or one red unison card with specified cost of one, and then shuffle your deck, so like spaceship. Um, and then active main limit one, choose spaceship in your unison area, place this card under it, add a marker to the chosen card. So you have a few cards that can increase the markers, yeah. but still get the spirit boost 10, if, and your opponent can split. Smack it. Yeah, but that's why you're able to get back out from the drop, and its own ability can let you add up to three markers to it every turn. So, oh, as not I think I'd have to see the deck in action to probably really appreciate it. Yeah. Um. Also, we've got another SR now. Uh, so there's eight cost, and it's Super Saiyan Son Goku Pan and Super Saiyan Trunks Galactic Explorers. So 30k power as well. Uh, it's got deflect. Ah, see, got deflect, but mm. not barrier. Um, <laughs> so you got activate main, pay three red. If you have four more energy, you play this card from under your unison card. 
Okay. But that's at least still got an energy up then. Hmm. Activate main, was per turn, spirit boost, three, choose all your opponents, uh, power cards and they get one to to keep power for a turn, and this card gains triple attack for a turn. Ah! That's actually really good. Yeah. Um, activate main, limit one, choose one of your red units and cards with 10,000 power or more, and place this card under it from your hand or battle area, add a marker to a chosen card. So you can get it under there ready for when you want to bring it out later. Yeah. And then we've got Pan soaring through space. It's another SR, two drop 5k, it's a blocker, and its first act main is limit one, spirit boost one. If you have two or more energy, you can play a scout from under unison. And then act of main limit one, pay two red. If your leader is a Sun Goku GT card, play it from Sun Goku GT and up to one Trunks GT. Both are red with 15 or less power from under your spaceship in your unison area. Hmm. Okay, so that's why the first effect is it costing energy because you're meant to pay the two, pay the two for the other effect. Yeah. Okay, so Pan Adventurer's Advent, one cost, 4k, barrier, activate main, limit one, choose one spaceship vessel of hope in your unison area, place one, place one Saiyan card from your hand under it, draw a card, and a marker to chosen card. Huh. Okay, so yeah, definitely running along the same lines of effects, aren't they? Yeah. And then we've got Super Saiyan Trunks soaring through space. So you board up 15k, it's got barrier, evolved by paying one red, you draw a card onto your red trunks GT. Permanent, whilst this card is in rest mode, your opponent can't attack your unison cards. Ah, that's handy. Uh, when it's played, choose one of your opponent's back cards and it gets minus 10k for the turn. And then active main, limit one, pay one red. If your opponent has one more energy, play this card from under a unison. Okay, and then you'll get the first effect. Yeah, you so always you get the auto because they all say played. It didn't say from hand. Yeah, and then it becomes a deadly defender for your unison, which is what it needs. Yes, um, and it's fifty. Yeah. Would have been better if it was twenty key base for that though. Yeah, but it's... it'd be too good. Yeah, and the thing is, like, it doesn't specify that unison. It just says for your unison. So you could run it in other decks. Yeah. Okay, so we got Trunks Battle on Planet M2. So it's 3 cost, 15k power, blocker, evolve on 1 red onto, and you draw a card onto a red Trunks GT. Auto limit 1, choose a spaceship in your unison area, place one saying card from your hand under it. When this card is played, draw a card and a mark of the chosen card. And then it's actually a main limit 1, pay 1 red. If you've got 2 more energy, you play this card from under your unison. <laughs> Just tried to get all that out in one, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> okay, so we've got Trunks Adventures Advent. One drop, 4k. When it's played, you draw a card. And then active main movement one, two spaceship, place it underneath, and a marker. Yeah. Oh, he's a super combo again. What a surprise. Yeah. Giru, the super combo. Yeah, it means I can just change it out with my <laughs> red baby. <thing. laughs> what, because this has got 15k base power, the other one's got 10k base power. No, no, oh. no. That just has the 10k base combo, the other one I have to combo for the 10k base. Oh yeah, true. There is that as well. Yeah. There is that difference. <coughs> so we've got Lud, Stunning Power. Say 20... Well, it's three a drop 20. 20k power. Yeah. It's a 20, it's a 20 drop, is it? With 3k power. Yeah! I, I need to say power, and then my brain was like, drop, immediately. It's a um, 20 drop with 3k power, oh my god, I'm gonna be so broken. <laughs> It's got blocker. <laughs> um, you've got evolved by paying two red onto a pan, and an active battle wants to turn. Place one card from underneath it into your um, drop area to switch <coughs> it to active mode. So it can block twice. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it can block twice. Eh. I mean, it's just not worth paying two red to put no. it on the pan. No, it's not. No. Um, Alright, so we got Meta Rildo Ascended General. So, 7 cars, 30k power, it's a rare. Um, I, for some reason, I thought this was going to be an SR just because it's part of our deck. Um, but yeah, so we got Double Strike, Barrier, Blocker, EX Evolve for 1 red, General Rildo with an edge cost of 5 or more. So, that applies to the old one. Yep. Also, why is this a Black Star Dragon Ball Saga? I don't know. The Black Star Dragon Ball Saga didn't take place until after, maybe. 
don't know. I'm pretty sure that's how the, how it works, because otherwise it'd be weird. <laughs> or is GT just as far as I completely misunderstood this and GT has just been one giant saga from day one. It's just been the Black Star Dragon Ball saga from the very first episode all the way up to the end of 64. All, <laughs> so, all, all, all along the way, and then occasionally like, oh, we got this to deal with now. <laughs> but those Black Star Dragon Balls, we'll get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you got Epic Battle. If it's your opponent's turn and you place one card from under this card in its own drop area, switch this card to activate and gets minus 5k power for a turn. Okay. So you can swing a bit twice. Well, 30k double strike and then 25k double strike. It's such a big battle. If it's your parents' turn. Oh, yeah, true. So it means that you could block with it twice. Ah, yes, okay, fair. That bit I completely. Yeah. That's because I carried on with that. I completely forgot about the first bit. Hmm. But yeah, because so, oh, there's a barrier blocker, so. Yeah, okay. And then we've got Hyper Metal Rildo, combined power. So if I've got 25k power, it's got blocker, evolved by paying one red onto a Super Sigma. And then auto, if your leader is a Dr. Mew card, when this card is played, you may draw one card. If you don't, activate up to one plant M2 from your deck, then shop your deck. You can play the old M2. Yeah, you can play the old M2 and the old leader. Because the old leader was a Dr. Mew. Oh. And then active battle once per turn. Place this card from, place one card from under this card in the center drop area. You may choose one of your opponent's back cards and <coughs> to your opponent's life. If you do, switch this card to active mode. Hmm. So you give your opponent a life. Yeah, but then you remove a card. So I suppose the idea is like, it's not popping it. So they don't get any like destruction effects. It just goes to their life, which means you know one card in their life and you've got rid of a card. The downside is they gain an extra life, but might not make a difference. Uh, Alright, so we got General Rildo Battle on Planet M2. So one cost 4k, Union Absorb, once per turn, pay two red, choose one Super Sigma card in your battle area or drop area and place it under this card. Play up to one General Red, General Rildo. Okay, so I'm guessing they're future proof and I guess they make it yellow yeah. or any other colour. <laughs> With an energy cost of 5 from your deck or hand on top of this card and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. When it's played, yes, draw a card. I'm saying that there was green real though stuff in one of the sets. Was there? Yeah, there was like a green real there and some. Um, it was either a set or a, a, like the draft box. Something came with like green real those. I can't remember what. It was just. was never used. So. Uh, anyway, so we've got general real though, combination ready. So one drop 4k. You've got Union Absorb once per turn, you pay to red, you choose a Super Sigma in your battle or drop it and place it on this card. Play up to one red Rildo with an edge cost of five from your deck or hand on top of this card, then shuffle your deck and look through it. And then when it's played, look at five cards from top of your deck, add up to one red Machine Mutant amongst your hand, then shuffle your deck. So searches. Yeah. Oh, here's the Super Sigma. Hey! hey. Uh, Super Sigma combining Warrior. Uh, so it's a four cost, 20k power, barrier, blocker. Oh no, sorry, it's a 20 uh, cost with 4k power. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I got it the wrong way around, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> also, when this card is played, I'm not going to let that go now. No. Um, you get to draw a card and then choose all your opponent's battle cards and you get minus 10k power for a turn. And then you mill them like mad with cooler. <laughs> Yes, because you're totally going to pay four to do this and call her. No. No, you can pay the two with all the things. No! <laughs> I think about pay two red, choose one Neze Bizu and one Ribbit. Ribbit? Ribbit? I have no idea. Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay, he's a frog. Um, from your hand, <laughs> what? Handle battle area and place them in the same as drop areas, play this card from your drop area. Oh, okay, so you can combo this card away, and then be like, I pay two. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, I think the old Sigma was very similar. I can't remember what it did. But, um, Super Sigma Vanilla. Yeah. It's just a free cost of 30k. There you go. So we've got Nezzy, combination ready. So you want to drop 4k, barrier, 
You need to draw, pay one red, choose one Bizu and one Ribbit from your hand or battle it and place them on this card. Play Super Sigma from your deck on top of this card and then shuffle your deck if you look for it. So yeah, you could play that one or you could play... The other one. Yeah. And then if your leader is a Dr. Mew card, when this card is played from your hand, out to one Bizu card from your deck will drop here to your hand then shuffle your deck if you look through it. We're all going to search each other up, I can tell you now. Yeah, because Bizu, one cost 5k, if your leader card is Dr. Mew card, when this card is played, from your hand, add up mm -hmm. to one Ribbit card from your deck, or drop out of your hand and shuffle your deck if you look through it. And Ribbit will search Nezzy. Uh, Ribbit, yeah, will do exactly the same effect as the other one, but it'll just get Nezzy instead. I like the Magnet Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Vegeta Vanilla. Bar? Vanilla? What? It's... Oh, it's a blocker. No, what? Why is this in this set? I think it's just so that there's a like it's more for the um, pre-release, but then I guess in Brody you could run it. But, but why is it in this set? I don't know. This set makes no sense for this. No, unless there's something they have yet to reveal. It's literally just by itself as well. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, it's, just, it's not even even in the GT era. <laughs> I I do feel like it's largely just there for pre-release. <laughs> it's so random. Oh my god. What? Uh, Why is that in the set? It's beautiful. <laughs> um, just read the M2. Okay, so we've got mechanized pipe. One cost field, permanent, this is also treated as plant M2 in all areas. Yeah. If you'll use a Dr. Mew card, when this card is placed in your battle, draw two, then discard one card. And an active battle switches to rest mode, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 1k power for the turn. The original M2 did 5k. Yeah, but the original one only did 5k, that draws cards as well. I really can't remember what the original. I the, the, to... the original one was literally after a battle, put the rest mode minus something by 5k. That was it. Yeah. Well, I think it had on place effects as well. Did it? Yeah. Well, okay, we'll look at the end, but. Oh, God, it's been so long since I've looked at this. <laughs> there was like set. Three. Three. Yeah. So. Four years ago now at this point. Yeah. I think. Anyway. Um, Clash on Planet M2. Uh, you pay one red, activate main, choose one of your red battle cards, uh, choose one, the chosen card can attack battle cards in active mode for a turn, hmm. or choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus X power for the turn where X is the power of the chosen card's um, skills, skill, cost, skills, skill, cost. Blair. Hmm. Well, just throw it out and call her. <laughs> minus! Minus! Yeah. Mill! Mill! I think the most useful part is being able to attack with um, things inactive. Yeah. So. Which was a common thing for Red when he first appeared. Yeah, and they do have the Sin General News and that you could run, but. Yeah. And then we've got Setting Forth to Space! an active main, so you choose a spaceship in your use now, draw one, add a box to chosen card, and place one red same from your deck underneath it. Okay, I'm just gonna take okay, they put some okay, whoa, okay, there's some oh, spoils. There's a some blue stuff there. Okay, I didn't even know about that. Alright yeah. guys, um thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> Leave 84 shout in the comments below and we'll see you next time then. So bye bye. Bye.